Hello, my name is Jon Jokela and this is the YouTube version of uh, my presentation kept uh, in Hydroenergia 2014 and it goes about uh, uh, ultra low head run of the river turbine it's actually seen in the proto here So, there is a patent, you can find it on the internet with this number, and this is the agenda. Uh, first I will uh, uh, explain the problems with ultra-low ultra head turbines, then the solution, Jokela turbine, uh, the main aspects like power density, efficiency and production, and then a short summary. So problems with ultra low head sites, and uh, this I mean uh, less than five meters, so up to zero. They have a uh, poor energy content, varying water levels. At flutes, the water levels can vary many many meters, and also varying heads. The water level on downstream side raises normally more rapidly than the upstream level. This can lead up to a complete loss of the head. Also varying flows, limited possibility for reservoirs, the production must follow the natural changes of flow. Also the feces and uh, sediment makes problems. So a summary of the problems, uh, small production, not much money available, varying conditions, claims fully regulatability, which is expensive, it mostly means expensive turbine, and if the project is still found profitable, it mainly can use only a fraction of the total yearly energy potential, but causes all the problems for the river flow and river life, which means uh, that profits and costs are not in balance. So normal conclusion made just in two minutes, it's nonsense, should forget it. But if solution, so this solution, Jokela turbine, uh, it's a main, basically uh, two variable uh, rotation speed uh, runners counter rotating with a fixed bevel gear connection to a generator with an inverter allowing uh, the variable rotation. The red is the first runner, the blue is the second runner, the green is the generator and the yellow is the uh, inverter. So there is only three moving rotating parts and there are no sensors needed in river. All the information ne uh, needed is uh, gathered uh, through, the, through the set. And the, the turbine uh, must be already diffusive formed for optimized functionality and yes, diffusive if the flow direction is correct. So. It has a higher power density than any other water turbine concept. As the runners are counter-rotating, there is less angular velocity needed to produce the same pressure head. This allows to use the higher axial flow velocity. It finally means bigger output with same cavitation conditions and runner diameter. This can be proved, of course, mathematically, and it's written here, so you can prove it freely. Uh, so uh, here is the uh, Kaplan. And Jokela Turman and Kaplan means here every rotating runner static gate concept. So it doesn't really matter if it's regulated or not. But uh, they have typically uh, 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 25, 50 degrees and here is 45 chosen. So, so mainly uh, when we take the same uh, maximum velocity which comes from the same pressure head, we must reduce the uh, uh, rotation speed and, and the uh, uh, absolute comp velocity component of the rotating uh, speed and thus we can increase the, the meridional velocity. So this is the change uh, which happens in the flow direction needs and, and this is the change which uh, happens in uh, axial velocity. So here is the, uh, the calculation shown and it puts up 1.22 factor with this uh, uh, example. So power density, turbine diameter and runner diameter uh, uh, are, are 
in this given exam uh, in, in this given example the flow is 22% uh, to Kaplan flow but with same uh, diameter runner diameter the range varies from 108 to 132% typically but as there is no need for wicket gates the turbine di diameter can also be at least 20% bigger than with Kaplan this increases the flow further as it is the square of the flow uh, the diameter is the square of the flow and practically presented this turbine can use up to two times more flow than Kaplan and additionally there is nothing which needs maintenance outside the water channel therefore no access facilities are either needed and this picture was the Kaplan wicket gauge shown so about, uh, more about power density and uh, the draft tube uh, on ultra low head projects a good draft tube is a crucial, crucial for efficiency and these turbines make no exception but because of fixed blades, the turbine can be diffusive shaped and thus also the water velocity is already lowered before the runner exit. As the high velocity is actually only needed there was the reactions happened. So this diffusive shape causes also a radial component to the flow and thus the draft tube can have a greater cone angle than the adjustable plate turbines which must be cylinder formed from the nature. So the, uh, uh, this greater cone angle then makes the draft tube shorter. About efficiency. The present plates design optimization was conducted following the multi-objective design algorithm having CFD model as an intermediate verification of results. And it was made by Swiderski Engineering, Ottawa, Canada and, uh, and uh, concentrated on the plates, so the diffusive shape is not yet fully optimized. Uh, the results were proved in laboratory uh, in, in uh, northwestern Switzerland, uh, School of Engineering. Uh, and uh, we have had a, a practical use, uh, a, a pr prototype running three years in rural reality in Swiss Alps. So here we can notice the short draft tube and, and uh, in this photo it's not so good shown but the partial action is also possible so it's uh, the, here the turbine is not full of water efficiency peak is now at uh, 89.4 with a head of just 1.3 meters and the flow only a quarter of cubic meters per second and uh, this uh, leads up to a total efficiency on the whole concept so when you calculate the hydraulic efficiency 90, gears 99 and then the water cooled permanent magnet generator 94, inverter 94 again the total efficiency water to wire would have a peak of 77% and with this efficiency it can perfectly follow the varying heads down to zero, of course zero is zero but uh, uh, and the flows, uh, it can use the flows uh, uh, practically uh, the whole range but with the lower uh, flow range, the efficiency is not so high, but it's usable 35-50%. Because the particle action is possible thanks to the diffusive shape and rotating uh, kite vanes, if you allow this uh, yeah, metaphor. So uh, this is not shown in the CFD report, uh, but verified in field tests. And with range 60% uh, 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 up to the... Uh, nominal and, and, and maximum flow it provides very acceptable, acceptable efficiency mainly over 70 percent and I am uh, uh, talking about the present stand of development so uh, already a single turbine installation can use the whole flow range and of course with matrix uh, 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 the regulating possibilities are wider and there uh, uh, could be used only one inverter shared by many turbines and, and thus the total efficiency would be raised and, and uh, to a level which is uh, really good for uh, such a low heads. About the production, so the run of the river hydropower must produce with varying conditions and the production is uh, a formula from flow times head times uh, fa factor and the efficiency and normally the most effort is used to improve the efficiency, okay, but as in the formula, improving flow and head would have the same amplitude to the results. And here is a few samples how it goes, and, but this finally concludes that uh, maximizing the flow 
uh, is the key to the most successful run of the river power plant as uh, mostly in most cases you cannot build uh, 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 enough uh, turbines to use the whole flow and of course the set must also be able to regulate it accordingly so short power density and regulation this is the key aspects the regulation is already in good level but the limits of this phenomenon is not yet fully verified uh, and when we combine the, the drag flugel theory to the impulse theories it should be possible to reach even even wider range of, uh, of high efficiency and, and this is the, uh, the way to calculate and here is a few samples how the Euler's vectors would vary on, on, on varying conditions to reach this but this uh, means of course detailed optimization of the whole turbine hydraulics about the production so uh, here is uh, uh, again uh, shown a quite typical flow over the year and, and the head, the actual measured head but uh, we could also have a, 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 the kinetic part of the flow uh, could be uh, uh, tile-wise uh, calculated on the head so the potential head would be this line here and the uh, total energy available with uh, the kinetic head is this above, line above and these, t tri these three lines shows that the Kaplan turbine with 90% efficiency the, the uh, most red line uh, uh, it, uh, this, is, this shows the difference if we have an efficiency of, of 80 or 100 percent we still don't use this uh, much of energy because uh, the turbine uh, uh, the place cannot ha have enough enough uh, uh, ability to use flow so uh, when we <coughs> compare uh, uh, the sets now the red is Kaplan turbines three pieces, the first one running, the second one, and the third one running then I have uh, uh, taken the uh, so-called hydromatrix which is practically a, a not regulated propeller turbine one turbine, two turbines and the third one and their production and then uh, with uh, this turbine we could have a, a, with the first turbine this kind of curve, second and the third and uh, then there is this attached line which shows uh, 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 this new turbine together with a male uh, structure, please look through a program. So with uh, uh, naked figures it goes like this, with three turbines the Kaplan uh, could have uh, 8.2 gigawatt hours and, and this turbine could have uh, uh, 9.24 gigawatt hours in a yearly, in, uh, yearly basis mainly because of the uh, uh, higher uh, capacity of flow available and with two turbines uh, 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 this is still the leading concept but with one, just one turbine in this particular case the hydromatrix would be the best turbine and, and please now look again at uh, this male drop structure uh, as it provides up to 54% more production than uh, Kaplan <coughs> So summary, more profitability through more production, which comes mainly through more flow. And as uh, the, this, this concept has a really wide uh, usable head range and wide usable flow range. A more profitability also through less investment, as a lot of whole, whole low head dams exists, exists readily available and also as the turbine construction is uh, more economical to build. Also less maintenance uh, through simplicity as the turbine provides all needed info so it doesn't need, need any, any uh, water level measurements or, or that kind of stuff in the river. So this is the master plan from Kaplan turbine and uh, from Jokela turbine so it's as simple as that. Thank you!